welcome friends now this is the end of week 3 we are into the 15th session of this course on Toyota production system and uh, we are already discussing various principles or you can say various techniques which we need to keep in mind while making our organization a world class organization. We discussed that Toyota production system is a way of manufacturing. One way of manufacturing we discussed is mass manufacturing where uh, we create lot of inventory and uh, when we are creating lot of inventory many problems were not identified because that inventory was giving a cushion and because of that cushion problems were not surfaced. On the other hand we have this manufacturing system which is Toyota production system and uh, many of the authors call it also as lean manufacturing system where we are trying to develop minimum inventory. We consider that uh, if you are having over production that is a kind of waste and uh, it is not only waste in itself, but it is also giving birth to many other problems and those problems will become the source of non competitiveness for your organization. And therefore, the principles of Toyota production system will not only help you in reducing the waste will not only help you in strengthening the processes, but also help you in removing various sources of non competitiveness and will help you to strengthen your competitiveness. So, that you become a world class organization. Now, in this particular session we will discuss that how we can develop various visual control systems for our organization. One type of visual control with which we all are very much familiar that is the traffic signals. So, on our highways on the crossings we have different types of traffic signals and uh, once you have different color for those traffic signals you automatically understand what is the meaning of it and uh, what type of reaction you need to have with respect to those different colors. If it is red color, yellow color, green color how you need to respond to those traffic signals. So, that is a very common type of visual control we all are very much familiar. Now, Toyota said that we can have similar kind of visual control systems in our organization also in the manufacturing locations also in the service organizations also in our offices also. And once you have these visual control systems at different locations the productivity of those areas will increase. So, that is the principle of Toyota production system which we are going to discuss in this particular session. Now, the basic idea of this uh, visual control is that uh, we need to have a neat and clean place where we are working. So, you can see the problems when things are messy when uh, there are lot of stuff around your place of work. So, you will not be able to identify where is the problem and uh, therefore, the idea of visual control is that uh, if you have a completely neat and clean system and wherever there is a smallest problem it will immediately be highlighted. So, if you have a white shirt and even a small spot is there on that white shirt it will be immediately highlighted, but if you are wearing a dirty shirt. So, many dots many black spots you will not be able to identify because you will not be able to surface out those problems. So, it is very simple to understand that if we keep our area clean if we keep our workplace clean it will help us to see the problems effectively. So, the whole idea of uh, uh, Toyota production system is to improve our process. So, that you can produce the right product and uh, therefore, it says that uh, clean up everything and this clean up everything will help you in seeing the problem. So, when you are able to create a 
clean environment a clean workplace it will help you in getting the problems immediately even the smallest problem tiniest problem will be noticed and uh, unfortunately when we talk uh, of this idea one more thing come to my mind and that is uh, most of the time if you see our uh, managers in a manufacturing organization if you go to a bank if you go to a restaurant if you go to airline office every time you go there and you will find that most of the people are busy in the crisis management so we are all the time in the crisis management situation why because we are not keeping our workplace up to the mark and uh, the idea of visual control is that if we can avoid this crisis management situation then only you can work on long term philosophies otherwise our entire energy our all resources are wasted in handling the crisis so crisis management mentality need to be avoided and we need to create a clean environment so that uh, you can find out you can identify you can locate the problem as soon as it occurs now for this purpose a very popular concept that is uh, mentioned in toyota principles and uh, japanese people follow these with the name of uh, japanese language so you find these five s concept many of you must have heard about these five s these are siri sito siso siketsu and sitsuke these five s concepts uh, are then being adopted all across the globe and uh, english translation is also available in the form of five s that is sort straighten shine standardize and sustain so you need to follow a 5s philosophy and uh, many authors discuss this 5s concept under the heading of uh, lean manufacturing that if you want to achieve a lean organization you need to follow this 5s philosophy and uh, let us see that uh, what do we mean by these different 5s and uh, how these 5s are interrelated also so these are not five different things rather these uh, are very much interrelated and this diagram gives you the idea that how do we start with the sort then we go to straighten then shine then standardize and then finally sustain and if we do all these five ways you will be able to eliminate the waste which is ultimate objective because uh, you are sorting sorting means uh, clear out uh, those things which are not required you can create different kind of visual controls for that purpose like uh, first we discuss that you have to sort these items and keep only those items which are required and uh, you can dispose of those items uh, which are not required in our houses also in our offices also at our workplace also we keep large number of uh, those items which are rarely used so if you see this diagram we say that uh, when you are sorting you are keeping only those items with you which are regularly used and those items which are rarely used can be placed with the red tagging that uh, these are the items which are rarely used so you can put red mark on those and those red mark items can be placed at a distant location so that uh, they are not the part of your regular work area so that is the first important thing you uh, can see uh, practically you go to any indian organization and uh, you just uh, ask uh, the computer operator to locate a particular file and uh, uh, the computer operator will take uh, huge amount of time because there is no proper sorting so uh, in our offices also we don't have proper file management system 
in our uh, home also we regularly see that uh, things are not at the right place and therefore all the time uh, in the morning hours particularly when children are going to schools uh, and uh, you are going to your office uh, so that type of crisis management uh, normally a phenomena of uh, morning hours daily in our houses so uh, the sorting is very very important keeping only the important things uh, close to you and all those things uh, which are not so important uh, and uh, you very well know that uh, things which you have not used since let us say past 6 months or 1 year will be a thing of uh, to be used rarely. So, all such type of items uh, should not occupy your immediate space because space is a very important resource and uh, how to use the resource is an important thing that is the idea of uh, waste minimization. So, uh, sorting is a very important thing and uh, you can do this sorting at your home, at your uh, factory as well as at your offices. So, wherever you are the principle of sorting is very much useful. The second S is the orderliness and uh, if I say that uh, in the form of English word it is straightening that means the orderliness to the workplace. Now, what it says it need to have a place for everything and everything should be at its place. So, you know that uh, 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 the interior design of a refrigerator that is a very good you can say example of the orderliness. So, in that refrigerator you have a place for keeping the bottles you have place for keeping the containers, you have place for keeping the vegetables, you have place for keeping eggs, you have place for keeping your other spices. So, for every item there is a proper place in your uh, refrigerator. If you see your uh, toolbox, the interior design of the toolbox is again a very good example of uh, orderliness. So, where to keep the screwdriver, where to keep the plus, where to keep the hammer, where to keep the other tools, where to keep the wires, where to keep the screws for all those things there are well defined places. So, that uh, whenever you are needing a particular tool you just open the toolbox and you know that uh, here is the screwdriver, here is a hammer, here is uh, some other kind of tool. So, your hand will automatically go to that particular place. So, you will not waste time in searching the tools. If your items, if your tools, if your raw material is not at the appropriate place. So, lot of time is wasted in searching. In our uh, manufacturing plants, we are talking of uh, quick exchange of dies. The concept like uh, SMED that is single minute exchange of dies that is now becoming popular because we want flexibility. So, we are continuously reducing the lot sizes of our production and when we are reducing the lot sizes of production we want a quick changeover of one product to another product and in that time SMED type of concepts are very useful. So, on one side you are having SMED where you want to change the die in one minute, but if the die is not available at the appropriate place. So, in just searching the die you will take let us say 10 minutes. So, the whole philosophy of SMED goes into the waste that though you are taking only one minute for changing the die, but you are taking 10 minutes for searching the die and that time can be eliminated that time can be reduced for searching if you have the orderliness. So, examples like refrigerator, the toolbox these examples can be extended to your workplace where you know that this particular area is for raw material and this area is for type A type of raw material, this is for type B raw material, this is for type C raw material. So, if you are following ABC classification 
of inventory management accordingly you can know that where to keep which material and accordingly you will have various material handling devices for those sections accordingly you will have various devices various racks for holding those materials. So, material holding, holding devices everything can be designed if you have a proper system of finding the item at a particular place. Otherwise, it will going to create a lot of wastage of movement, lot of wastage of identifying, searching the items. So, lot of time wastage will take place if orderliness is not there. So, that is the second important S to straighten. The third important S is about the shining. So, what does you see this diagram says that first is the sort. So, what you are keeping that is a very important thing and those things which are of less value which are rarely used you need to keep them apart. The second thing is you need to organize and label the place for everything that here you are keeping type A item, here you are keeping type B item, here you are keeping type C item. Then the third thing is shine, the cleaning. Now, what does we mean by shine here? That is cleanliness that once you have created the orderliness in your workplace, the cleanliness process often acts as a form of inspection. When you are doing the cleaning activities, so inspection takes place because it exposes abnormal and pre failure conditions that could hurt quality or that can also lead to failure of a machine. For an example, in uh, our houses many a time it happens that uh, some small article may be eraser, sharpener, pencil we are not able to locate because uh, of uh, some issue. Then what we do? We bring a broom and we start cleaning our floor and when we are cleaning the floor may be below our bed or below the dining table or under the uh, study table you will find that article. So, the cleanliness uh, will bring the problem to the surface uh, and it exposes that uh, when you are doing the cleaning activities uh, then it exposes that something abnormal is there and uh, you can be proactive to remove those abnormalities. You can be proactive to fix those uh, possible problems and uh, therefore, a uh, lot of wastage of time, lot of wastage of creating defect can be avoided because uh, you are regularly cleaning your areas. So, you are regularly inspecting your area, you are uh, uh, as uh, normal practice is there that uh, whenever you start your vehicle in the morning or uh, you are a machine operator going to factory and in the morning what is the first job you do? The first job is the cleaning of the area, cleaning of that machine, cleaning of your car and when you are cleaning your car you are also inspecting the vehicle, you are also inspecting your uh, machine that what is the coolant label, what is the lubricant label etcetera, etcetera. And uh, uh, therefore, with this uh, you just see whether any abnormality is there or not and if abnormality is there you immediately take corrective actions. Uh, so, uh, this uh, shining means uh, the cleanliness and cleanliness is just not about the uh, cleaning with the brooms, uh, it is actually the inspection of your work area which can help you in becoming proactive with respect to any uh, future defects or future failures. Then another important uh, S is the Siketsu that means standardization. Now, the idea of standardization we have already discussed in one of our earlier principle of Toyota production system that uh, we need to create more standards for the task. The meaning of creating standard for task is to create rules that is the meaning of standardization that you have to create more rules for your workplace for the task for the job in hand. And when you are creating more rules you actually develop systems and procedures you develop 
SOPs that what are the standard operating procedures to maintain and monitor the first three S. So, we discussed the first three S, these are short, straighten and shine. So, for doing these three things, you are creating rules, regulations, procedures, checklist and with the help of those checklist, you are ensuring that in our organization, there is a system of sorting, there is a system of orderliness, regular cleaning is taking place. So, those type of checklists are being developed for maintaining first 3 S. So, that is the purpose of standardization. So, when you develop these 3 S, so you also need to develop systems that people become part of these 3 S, because we continuously focusing more on people in Toyota production system. So, uh, how to maintain these 3 S for that purpose, uh, we need to create processes and creating that processes is basically the standardization activity. So, uh, that is the fourth important S uh, which will help us uh, to achieve earlier 3 S. And finally, we come to the fifth S that is sustain, keeping the fifth S means you have standardized, you have created rules. Now, you want to make that part of the organization that become the part of philosophy of the organization. So, that is the meaning of sustain. So, people automatically starts following, it becomes your culture. So, it is more appropriate to say that uh, there are large number of uh, people who say that uh, you have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 you have salt, you have straightened, then you are having the cleanliness and then you are having the sustenance and that is going to help you achieving the long term advantage. That is the long term philosophy, the first P if you remember. So, how to develop the philosophy of the organization? So, the first four S will help you in achieving the sustainability and that is another version of this 5S concept. We had a diagram where we discuss 5S in a cycular manner. And we say that these 5S help us in eliminating waste. And there are people who also say that if you follow 4 S, then these 4 S will help you in getting the sustenance. If you have developed the rules, if you have standardized the process of following the 3 S, then actually the fifth S is the sustenance. You are maintaining a stabilized workforce. You are maintaining that stable system in your organization, which becomes ongoing process for Kaizen, ongoing process for continuous improvement. So, that is what uh, the meaning of uh, uh, fifth as people say. So, but uh, it is more important to understand that uh, either you have uh, this diagram in your mind or this diagram in your mind, both these are actually saying the same thing that uh, we need to create uh, more visual controls, uh, so that uh, you can have the identification of problems immediately immediate identification of problems will help you to actually target the problem as soon as it occurs and this will avoid large number of waste which are there in the organization. Now, when we are talking of uh, visual control system, you will find large number of examples around you where organizations have implemented these 5S philosophy because the meaning of 5S if you do not go to the philosophical level, the meaning of 5S people understand is only about uh, creating a neat and clean workplace. So, people invest a huge amount of money in creating a neat and clean workplace 
everything is shining everywhere you have created new paint uh, so everything is shining so new almiras uh, new racks uh, new flooring is being done so we are more on just uh, the exterior part of 5s we do not understand the interior aspect or the deeper aspect of 5s so for that purpose it is very important to understand that this visual control system is not of uh, just creating the uh, shining workplaces rather it has a deep rooted meaning and the deep rooted meaning is about uh, improving the value added flow this is all about uh, improving the value added flow it is not just to create uh, uh, neat and clean and shining workplaces so even if uh, you may have old rooms where no whitewash is there but still 5s and 5s resulting into improving the value added flow may be there now what is it the visual control is any communication device used in the work environment that tells us at a glance how work should be done and whether it is deviating from the standard or not so telling this thing whether your work is as per the standard or not as per the standard that is the more important meaning rather than just creating a shining workplace shining workplace will automatically give you a high morale no doubt in that if uh, you have good illumination if you have uh, new walls uh, clean walls uh, then you will have high morale no doubt in that but this whole idea is to create more value addition using the concept of 5s like uh, if you see this particular diagram so this is uh, one type of uh, visual control system which is installed in a manufacturing organization now in this uh, system you see the last column here this is regularly giving you the idea of uh, overall equipment efficiency this oee means overall equipment efficiency so the overall equipment efficiency of the plant at the moment is 73% the availability data is 81% the performance rating is 91% and quality rating is 99% so this is a type of visual control regularly you are getting this data nowadays i started like uh, saying with the traffic signals because in india problems of uh, pollution is also increasing so what government has done nowadays that at important places particularly in our metro cities they have installed visual controls that what is the current pm 2.5 level what is the current pm 10 level what is the current humidity level so that uh, people know that uh, what is the pollution level at the moment if you go to some other areas uh, some bigger uh, cross sections uh, in your city so there are regular data coming about the deaths because of road accidents so all these are nothing but the visual controls so that you can sensitize people about the various aspects that how our performance is moving for this type of example like the company has set the target of oe that we want to operate at 80 percent of oe and now the 73 percent oe is there and we know that oe is the result of product of availability into performance and quality so since quality is 99 percent performance is 91 and availability is 81 percent so immediately your target will be to improve the availability so that uh, if you improve the availability the oe will also improve so this type of uh, uh, visual control which uh, we also call if you remember in our previous uh, sessions uh, we have discussed these are like uh, end on controls so these are the uh, automatic uh, lighting systems uh, which are installed in the plant uh, and uh, because uh, these machines these readers uh, are doing their calculations on their own and uh, they will regularly display that what is the performance of the system in hospitals also 
we have a lot of such visual controls uh, where uh, uh, for a patient to monitor the condition we have various displays where regularly your pulse, your BP, your oxygen intake, your other parameter vital parameters are monitored. So, uh, as soon as uh, there is some deviation you will immediately come to know that uh, where to take the corrective action. So, that is the usefulness of this idea of visual control. So, uh, you can design depending upon what are the important items of your dashboard. So, depending upon the items of dashboard you can design this uh, uh, visual control display systems uh, uh, like for this organization OE may be the important criteria. So, they have mentioned OE and uh, availability performance quality are all uh, uh, required to calculate the OE and uh, on the other side these are the quality related data where how many good parts, how many rejected parts, uh, what is the rate of output uh, these things are actually uh, mentioned. So, uh, all these data is translated into the calculation of OE. So, they have created a dashboard as per their requirement. Uh, depending upon what are the critical parameters for your organization, you can create your own dashboard and that will help you to actually monitor the performance of your organization. So, that is all about the visual control system and with the help of these visual control system you can actually surface out the problem. So, with this we are closing this session thank you very much.